Okay, they did build an archer, which is slightly annoying, but that's okay. We can do one big hit on the wall. As soon as that wall is down, we'll be a little bit more secure about how this is going. Let's pull the swordsman in as a priority. Yeah, very much a bottleneck. This city needs to be taken. I need to throw a road through this area as quick as I can, and I'm still watching for when Greece brings out its own religion. Not that I've got some missionaries hovering nearby. Oh, Kabul. There we go. Double experience from battles I initiate. Yes, that's handy. Two encampment training projects all finishing at the same time. I'm hoping this will give me a lovely little boost of points. Bam, look at that. Certainly does. We have ourselves a great general and we're actually on course to get the second. I'm going to let these two projects finish and then I will get Sun Tzu. And we'll get two of these generals. Oh, that'll be good. Two swordsmen are now in and around the city-state and wha-bam. There we go. Walls are down. That was quick. Babylon has invented Shinto with Feed the World. Hmm. I don't know if I can allow you to do that, Babylon. I really don't. I might just throw a mission at them and see if I can kill their religion like in the first turn it was made. Horseback riding, quite beautifully timed, beautiful, and we're now on to apprenticeship for man at arms. Oh yeah, a scout just got hit. Oh my goodness, for eight experience I got. Uh, troops are merely passing by, Chris, don't worry about it. It's fine. Oh, this is handy. Thank you very much. My Pantheon heals my scout. <laughs> Scout's just going to pillage heal and I'll go one attack. I can't kill the city state this turn, so I'll pillage heal. Greece still hasn't put their religion down, but my missionaries are ready. They are ready. I'm, I'm waiting. Oh, there's the prophet. I think they did that thing where they've gone for a golden age, but they haven't actually built a holy site, so that could be a problem for them. Babylon is only generating 14 faith per turn. I don't think they've got enough to stop me from removing their religion quickly so I'm gonna throw a missionary in. Again, diplomatically, I don't think they're gonna like me doing this but ultimately you have to ask yourself, do you care? And the uh, the answer to that question should always be no. One attack, two attack. Cahokia is gone. Snipped conquered. And as you can see, Greece really not doing anything with their religion right now. So sometimes you have to go, okay, consider yourself snipped. As you can see, we have another warrior now turning into a swordsman. That's three swordsmen and a beautiful great general on the way as well. Babylon has man at arms, by the way. It, they, they do that. That is a very Babylonian thing to do. We, we, we're kind of copying them, really. We're not far behind. That just shows you how strong Germany is. Oh, that's one of my scouts gone. I was doing my best to survive there, but clearly did not work. That was not skillful enough. Second city, bam. Yes, Greece. Yes, absolutely. You know what? I'll give you three gold per turn for all of that iron. Beautiful. What am I going to do with that iron, you ask? Oh, d don't, don't worry about it. I'm sure nothing. I'm sure nothing too bad at all. <laughs> sometimes, sometimes the choices that AI makes, you do look at them and you go, uh-huh, are you sure you want to do that? Is, is that... Is that move in your best interests? Hmm? Don't complain. Don't don't eat, don't say anything. It's it's all good. Hello there, Babylon. You've still only got one city following this religion. And um, look at that. Your faith balance is so low, and you're only getting 14 per turn. It's just terrible, that isn't it? It's just it's just awful if something were to happen to your religion j just so soon after founding it and everything. Researcher Pingala, give me all your science. 29 science per turn. Yes, that's absolutely what I want to do. The Warlord's Throne is finished. Oh, Temple of Artemis. That would be quite happy. Look at that. One, two, three, at the very least, immunities in my capital as well as some food. And it's only seven turns. Wow. Could even do Stonehenge. Nice. You know, actually, let's go build that. And then we're going to, I mean, I could have a dart. No, let's go Temple of Artemis. And then I'll Stonehenge it as well. If I can get a three Apostle, better improve my religion quite mightily. And that is always fun to do. Right. Swordsman, one, two, like that. You move to this tile. You move to this tile, move to that tile, you move to this tile, and the general is right there, just ready to have a little snoop. Oh, they're throwing walls up pretty quick. You'd think that would be a good idea, but um, I think it's going to be too little, too late. Oh, Kreese may just grab Sun Tzu, actually. My projects are finishing next turn. Never mind, even if we don't get them, we'll have something fun. Oh, that religion is so close to being removed. Babylon. Dear, oh dear, what is happening to your religion? Yep, and getting rid of my diplo favor is absolutely something that I should be doing very quickly. Let me just remove all of your gold. Thank you, Greece. Have you denounced anyone? Anyone denounced you? No. Uh, sometimes you can you can bypass the surprise 
war if somebody else has denounced them because then you can joint war formal war and get around it that way but um this time it's not a problem God, these are good tiles looking forward to incorporating these into my land swordsman 62 strength battle cry great general crusade oligarchy flanking it's a nice little combo isn't it like wabam just remove the warrior in one turn and there you go i've already got the battering ram to the front line and crack the wall is half down this is before mana arms as well haven't even got that far yet i'm interested to see what they reply with because they will have uh, something that they can do be it a form of troop or using their gold or doing something oh no babylon has denounced me oh dear and australia oh dear no, oh, it's, it's a, such a shame, isn't it? But I just have such an early game advantage and I'm just sort of lording it over people. Just switch these units around briefly so that I can promote in safety and then we'll go one, two, like that. Olympia should fall next turn, I think. Now, if you've never seen the channel before, one thing I like to do is name my units a little bit just after the channel supporters. As a thank you for, for supporting the channel. It's an amazing, amazing thing you do. And this scout is level two, almost level three. So I'm going to do it. Lutado. Right, I need you. I need you to be the bravest, the biggest scout. Let's go conquering. Let's do it. Oh, no. What happened to your religion, Babylon? Dear, oh dear. Well, you don't have enough faith to get it, uh, it back and, and there are zero cities following it. That's that's just such a shame. Wouldn't it be an equally big shame if someone were to can now convert all of your cities to a crusade religion? Dear, oh dear. I'm not going to just be able to win like this because unfortunately Cree has actually used their religion properly, but it's pretty good. We managed to stamp one out at the very beginning. Ooh. Oh, this is, are you fronting up to me, Babylon? Are you? Oh, I'm actually, I'd, I'd be quite excited if they did, to be fair. Oh, I missed the general. But we're going to get a medieval era, a general, and that's no bad thing. So let's quickly get Berlin to build itself walls. In fact, actually, let's get everywhere to build walls. I get the feeling that walls are going to be needed. Bam, we'll finish those quickly. Treat myself to an archer. Yes, there's machinery boosted, but we can do a little bit of damage. Oh, plus nine intel on opponent's movements there. <laughs> <laughs> Babylon are not messing around with the intel. Blimey. They won't keep it that high. I, that they, they won't. They won't do it. But it is relatively amusing to see. It's very amusing indeed. Olympia has fallen. Because it follows my religion. It's loyal. And I have my first theatre square. Yay. Which is quite clever from that. They attacked me in neutral territory rather than in the crusade territory. But now I'm in the crusade territory. Oh, a hoplite. A unique and very powerful unit. Let's think. Does the AI actually manage to make sure they stand next to each other? No. Do I get anti-cavalry bonuses for having melee units? Yes. So am I really worried? No. <laughs> <laughs> to put it lightly, no, I'm not. I, I am the perfect German counter to the Greek hoplite rush. It's not going to work. Look at that. Babylon actually did it. They actually declared a surprise war against me. They were a turn too late, though, because there's my walls. So, you know, sucks to be you, Babylon. Theology also means I can get scripture in, which is so much more production now. And, oh, look, the men at arms. Uh, one, two, three. Yay, 47 strength on Arken. I mean, they, they may do a lot of pillaging right now, a huge amount of pillaging. There's not much I can do about that, but I have defenses. I'm behind the walls am i really that worried no no is the short answer let's get some archers going and we can get this rolling and now i can also start putting down my hanzas now unfortunately cahokia doesn't have anywhere that makes a good hanza but i'm gonna make one anyway oh no that's a fierce square oh <laughs> What am I doing? Ah, oh dear. Right, yes. Hansus. Plus three production. I was thinking, like, surely all of these bonus resources... No, I just can't click. There you go. Hansa is now being produced. These are wonderful districts. They are full of production. Exactly what the doctor ordered. Let's get as many of these down as we can. We can start rushing great engineers. If I can build medieval walls and cities. Oh, that's pretty defensive. I like that. And, um, oh, Bologna has attacked me. That's a shame. But wouldn't it be great if Brussels just sprung to my side randomly and then we could shock troop right into the side of Babylon with all of these warriors if I levied them which I could do with 240 gold would be a shame wouldn't it yep they're gonna throw themselves into the walls but that's what the walls are there for friend you may have a strong man at arms but that probably took your entire economy to do and uh oh, Temple of Artemis got built that's a little bit of a shame but again probably took your entire economy to build that one unit and it's being peppered it's probably gonna level up but let me tell you now we've got you sorted we've got your number this horseman's just gonna run around and start pillaging all your 
your cities. Yep, they're leveling up. I thought they might. I thought they might. Oh, ho, 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 ho. their warrior just decimated my archer. That's not very nice. Don't do that. Oh, rude. So rude. Let's garrison up. And yeah, they're very strong, to be fair. I'm not too worried, but it, it's just the annoyance of them having strong troops. Reason I'm not worried, being honest with you, on the other side of the map, this attack's going pretty well. One, two, and even my scouts are helping out with a bit of pillage. Trebuchet. Okay, that's more problematic. That that admittedly is more problematic. I <laughs> hmm, did a bit of damage to it, but not a huge amount of damage. So machinery, yep, absolutely. I think we want to be going towards crossbow defense. Sounds like something we definitely want to do. We've got a horseman, which is going to help running out in a second and just doing a lot of damage. And I'm going to focus fire on the trebuchet and see if we can get rid of that as fast as we can. Definitely vote. We're going to try and level up my scouts. 10 experience when I attack with them. Oh, it makes them a little bit weak. But admittedly, I think it's utterly, utterly worth it. Come on, swordsman. Finish the city off. Bam. And we take it. Excellent. Minus 22 loyalty. Oh, it's a bit painful. Better get a little bit of happiness into this. Some olives. Yay. Now the city's happy. That'll help. Minus 19 now. <laughs> So much better. Let's give that we've got at least one hands assorted though. Oh, Australia have just put down um, an industrial zone. Why would you do that? Why would you ruin my thing? I want to be building that. You know, whilst Babylon has a lot of army, as long as we can spread it as thin as possible, I think our city defenses are okay. The walls up in Berlin, that's going to help massively. And if I just spam horsemen in order to take out some of these warriors and to run around the back and take out the trebuchet, and if I've got archers to then provide covering fire, there's something about this, but I think I don't mind. I have to say that sort of attack works well. It's such a like random juxtaposition this game though. Like the Greek front, oh so well. Really going very well. Babylon front, hmm, a little bit squeakier, but never mind. What I want to do is create a situation where they are attacking from the north and that's the only direction they're attacking from. It creates a sort of nice defensive barrier for me. Right now, with these warriors through, I feel like they can flank me quite well and I don't like that. So by attacking with that archer, which gives it the level, I can then attack through, move my horsemen round, protect my own flanks. So now the mana arms can't get round, which is quite nice. And then we'll send some attacks over to attack the trebuchet, which probably will force it to level up, which isn't ideal. But this just gives us time. Three turn archer. Oh, we might have some pillaging here. If they start pillaging my holy sites, we will lose some production. That's not great. But one turn archers. There we go. We get another two archers next turn. I think the worst of this Babylon attack has happened already now. Meanwhile, with Crusade and Mana Arms, you can see we can deal... <laughs> Significant damage to Nossus. Oh yeah, it's pretty powerful. I think I mentioned this before as well, but in order to help the loyalty a little bit with my conquered cities, I am just chopping resources out of the cities behind. Because I'm in a golden age, that will help with loyalty a little bit. Go on, attack the walls again. Oh no, attack the horsemen. That is exactly what I wanted the horsemen for. That is perfect. And yes, if you want to give me gold per turn for the horses, that's fine. I'd rather take the upfront gold, I'll be honest with you. That is more useful to me. We have one turn left on that city. That's really going to be tight. But that's another three population in the city to the north. Minus seven. Minus one. Okay, we've stabilized. That's good. Can we chop any more food out? Any more marshes? Yes, a marsh over in this direction. Yeah, we have to chop out so much population here. I'm also going to have to do this quite methodically. I need to attack and destroy that encampment before we can get through, I think. Too much of a roadblock. Athens, very well defended. A lot of different districts. If we kill the encampment, at least the city centre is a little bit weakened. Could do with another governor, though. Yeah, really do with another governor. Defensive tactics absolutely is the way to go in a second. Tell you what, I'm going to make a bit of an aggressive play here. Did they pillage anything in my holy site then? They didn't. They just stood there. Why would you do that? That is very strange. Okay, we're probably going to feed experience to that unit, unfortunately. But I'm going to actually move my archer out in order to get another attack on the trebuchet. If I can kill that trebuchet. Yeah, there we go. That is really, really good. Now we can get that attack. Doesn't kill man at arms, but that's fine. We'll just save the promotion for next turn. And now we're in a much better position. Oh, yeah, this is good. So whilst we're attacking in the north, another hands is going to go down. I have a plus four that has an, a possible aqueduct next to it, which I really like the sound of. 
Oh no, can't put an aqueduct there. Of course I can't. Uh, but I could put an aqueduct on this tile. Is there a way I can double hands of this? Actually, you know what? I reckon that deer tile is very choppable. What would we get for a hands on that tile? Only plus two. Hmm, could be a bit greedy. I was looking to see if we could get an aqueduct position that would boost two separate hands, but I think it's going to be tough to do that. Yep, yeah, not going to bother. Right, plus four. That'll do. Don't get greedy. It's only three turns. German distance. It's, it's got to go down. It's so powerful. You know, I don't have the Spearman kill yet. So I'm actually going to purchase a Spearman just in Berlin. Now, this hopefully is going to be a good unit to make a little sneaky attack on that horseman. Cree don't like me now. Grievances. It's fine. It's all going to happen at some point. What are you doing? Did you pillage? They literally just stood up. What are they doing? Don't complain, Ursa. Don't complain. Get the Spearman kill. There you go. Military tactics boosted. Very nice indeed. When you're looking at the promotions for an archer, I tend to say right for defense at the beginning because garrison is really good for an archer to sit in your own city left for attack because then you can go volley arrow storm when you're in other people's territory garrison's a little fiddly i mean i know in cinderies yeah this is actually really good for attacking enemy cities but you're not really going to do that with archers anyway so i'm going to go volley in this instance and that's babylon's army pretty much disintegrated actually which is quite amusing and <laughs> Brussels has stolen a settler. Oh, I love it. It's wonderful. Greece would offer me peace for all of their economy right now. The only problem with that is that loyalty-wise, I would not be able to keep these cities, which is a bit of a pain. Oh, that's suddenly down to minus six. You see that minus one immunity in that city now? That's not helpful. We're going to have to switch this around a little bit. Limitani? Limitani? I can never pronounce that. That's two loyalty per turn in a city with a garrison. Really handy, that. Scripture, urban plan. Planning. Everything else is looking pretty decent. Let's try and get the governor. If we can get the governor, I'll feel a little bit better. Now minus four, minus six. We're still not enjoying this though. We can crack down this encampment fast though, so that will help. The only good thing about this is that my man at arms can survive attacks from city centers really nicely. There's very little chance of them dying from that. Got plenty of iron to sell on the market as well. Gilgabro, very much helping me out here. Do I have olives? I do have olives. I'm just looking to see if there's a another luxury I can improve just to get my happiness a little bit higher. Got tea as well. Babylon's army has pretty much been defeated. They do have man at arms, but they're being distracted on the other side of their empire right now. So we counterattack. We take their cities. Best thing I can do for that is more man at arms. They are by far the most powerful units we've got. <sighs> I might get this great general as well. Greece is going to be so close. Maybe this is what I use my faith for, purchasing that unit. That could be a really good use of my faith, actually. Can we take down this encampment? Oh, I tell you what, I need to move that man at arms out, but I can't. Yeah, no, that's decimated the loyalty in that city. So let's get something. Oh, can I afford a catapult? 480. I don't think I can. No, I'll just have to get an archer, I think, which has been annoying because I'm saving that gold for machinery, but I need the loyalty in the city. I can't afford to miss out on that one, but it's okay because we've now created a situation where we've got one, two man at arms attacking through, and we've destroyed the walls on that encampment, which is good. Let's push that swordsman back as well. Get our missionary into a place where if we can just convert this city whilst at war. Two charges should be enough. That'll give me crusade. That'll make me a lot happier. I'll be much happier with that. Just need to keep an eye on my era score actually. I've got eight turns to get eight era score. It's not the worst in the world but I don't really have a lot of options to get it right now. Commercial hub, campus, industrial zone, physical. I can't do the industrial zone because the Hansa replaces that but a lot of cities could get some pretty good districts I think. So there are options. Campus needs to be plus three doesn't it? Yeah it does. So Olympia can actually quickly pop that campus down. Look at that. Six turns. So that'll be four era score. No, three era score or four era score? Three. Okay, that's that's a good start. I'll get another general. That'll be one. I'm going to unlock sailing just in case I need to buy a boat quickly. Could uh, give myself an inquisition. I think that would be two era score. So there are options. We've got a couple of options. Just man at arms. It's it's almost, it's not worth it. I'm not getting the 50% production from it, but I mean, Arkan has 30 production. So yeah, let's give it a go. There are, there are things that our cities can do and there are, oh, this is really handy actually. Two things that are really handy. I left the warrior there because I was hoping the encampment would shoot that rather than my better units. And that's exactly what happened. So it can just sit there in friendly territory healing. Oh, minus 4.9. Come on, don't lose this city. Shop that out for some more population. Oh, it hasn't quite worked. Yeah, we needed this governor. We, we've just been stalled a little bit on Athens. 
But we've got Urban Warfare on this Man at Arms, which is brilliant. We've killed that Swordsman, which is brilliant. We can also push through. Next turn, we can take out that Encampment, and we can kill the Catapult inside at the same time. Push my General forward. We are going to lose this city. That is a little bit annoying, as I peace out and give it back. They've got nothing. Nothing I need. So there's no point in doing that. I wish we could get rid of that minus two unhappiness. I think that's going to be the war we're in, isn't it? Nope, it just, we ran out of luxuries, apparently. Something else, the wave it decides to throw the luxuries around I, I i get frustrated by it i'd rather have the luxuries not in my core cities and i'd rather put them in this one why can't i decide where my luxuries go greece now has a man at arms in that city but look weirdly now this city's happy and i'm not losing loyalty in it anymore S sometimes sometimes you have to ask yourself what is going on <laughs> And why? I could make peace of Babylon. This is going to be such an expensive attack and I'd rather build up my industry and attack Babylon a little bit later when I do have the requisite troops and training and like, I mean, it's 49 strength. Even if I get a man at arms out, it's going to be attacking 55, pretty much on 55. I'm going to need multiple units to attack this and probably a general. The general is there, so that helps. But I think getting some war weariness out of the way by making peace with Babylon will three up somebody to attack. No, they don't even want peace. Scrap that. Until they want peace, there's no there's no point even looking at it. So we'll ignore that for now. My missionary can just scout in a little bit. Looks like they're pretty undefended at the moment. But if I just show you how little a spearman will do. And if I just select one of my man at arms over on this front and then select over Babylon, you can see that it's 53 strength is this city at the moment. It's very tough. Well, all we can do is put push my mana arms forward one by one by one come on kill the catapult bam yes push in towards Athens they still have a religion that they haven't formed yet it's very strange that the reason I can't consider taking peace at the moment is if I look at the loyalty of the city you'll see that I've got garrisoned unit during occupation of five and grievances of minus nine the grievances will go up once I take the city in a peace deal and I lose that five so it's like a sort of seven or eight swing normally when you take peace so there's no way there's no way I'd be able to keep the cities. That's why it's it, it's either it's everything or nothing with Greece right now. That's kind of how we have to go. My horseman is going to get rested kind of at the correct time uh, for the man at arms to be finished as well. So I'm just waiting for these two before we charge in on Babylon. That's that's what I'm waiting for here. Oh, Greece really wants peace. It's not going to happen. Not just yet. If I can convert this city, that'll be really good because that is a huge chunk of era score because I'm doing it at war. I'm going to try and lure the man at arms out by leaving my great general there. That what that should do is cause them to attack out onto that space but we'll see if that works go on religion spread oh maybe next time maybe next time but we have a governor now it's got to be victor victor you can promote eventually to garrison uh, commander which is for loyalty including in this city for all cities within nine towns where he's established it was 11 for his city and four everywhere else very handy whilst narcissus is losing it i'm gonna put it in the southern city because this one is closer to flipping if it flips it's gonna be very annoying i could do with the other governor i have to say so we'll go record it history and i'm going to start to do some pillaging this is going to do two things not only is it going to boost recorded history through for me but it actually does reduce the strength of the city as well and lutado you just move through oh, it would be a real shame if you were to get hit here but i would like to start pillaging things like the horses so i can really take use of all of this material if i could get my missionaries down and just continue converting whilst at war that's really really handy 195 i need okay so i've left a warrior on the encampment in the hope that they attack that oh no they're actually producing units and attacking my scout that's why i didn't move my scout into the territory i knew that would happen <laughs> <laughs> just being harsh okay continue pillaging is this going to be enough for recorded history almost 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 not quite but conversion whilst at war there we go three era score i'm going to get another three for finishing that campus that means i just need the one there's a settler a barbarian settler just lurking around there that's too tempting what are you doing so if i can produce a horseman and go chase it down in the meantime i'm making catapults for the front line we're going to send them over both directions babylon i really need peace oh now they want peace babylon is offering peace that 
is suddenly really, really handy. That means I've got an opportunity to continue converting their cities for later, setting up Babylon as the big bad. We don't need to attack them now. I've got a really nice passage because Cree are just as weak as Greece. So if we can take out Greece and focus all my attention on one person, I feel like I'm going to be way better in this war. So there we go. There's the peace with Babylon. I can now spread my religion to his lands without any problems. I'll send a few missionaries in that direction. And because right now they're all getting huge boosts, we can put the crusade up there. That's brilliant. The new trade partner. Always good to have new trade partners. And all of my troops are going to head in the other direction now, including my horses. And I will leave a token defense in these cities in order to make sure that Babylon don't walk over me. Let's see if we can get this man at arms in. Oh yeah, we've got crusade. We've got oligarchy. We've got urban warfare. We have a great general. We're attacking with 71 strength on Athens. Let's get these walls down as soon as we can. Greece is still panicking. It's always a good sign. Major flood. Oh, that's in the city behind the one on the front line. That's not a good place. Not a good place there. That means the loyalty pressure is going to fall a little bit. But instead of getting Victor's promotion, I'm actually going to quickly pick up Moksha. Now, the Moksha is the other great governor for the front line because Moksha gets laying on of hands. All governor's units heal fully in one turn in Towers of this City. It means you can just go, bam, 100 healing back to the front line. There are very few promotions that are better than that. Very few indeed. Let's pull this warrior back. Fantastic diversion. Well done. You've done really, really well. And as discussed before, we need these walls down. One attack. This guy's got a promotion. Perfect. Two attacks. Athens is on its knees. This man at arms. It's so powerful, but the city's now sieged. So we haven't got to rush this attack now. Machinery has given us crossbows. We have a better defensive attack. Should we need one now? I'm building a water mill. Let's get construction. Then we can find nitre. We can work out whether or not muskets are going to be the option for us. I always like to think that muskets are a good option, but it's not always true. Classical era ends in one turn. One turn. Oh, I think we're going to have to go all in, aren't we? And take Athens as a city, but that's okay. We have the units to do it. I'm going to have to sacrifice this warrior though, make a bit of an attacking play just to bring the defense of the city down a little further so that this unit can then take it out like that. Bam. That was so, so close, but we just got full era score for taking the former capital of Greece. Loyalty is at minus naught. That's good. Up to plus 28. Plus 28. Great. Let's proactively get Moksha through just in case I promote you. But suddenly we have stable loyalty. Greece did have three cities with 13 population. They've now got two cities with six population. So we shouldn't have too much of a problem now. He says very enthusiastically. I don't know if that's necessarily true, but we'll see. Oh, Babylon, yes, yes. These these are not stolen luxuries. Don't worry about it. They, they, these came from a very peaceful source. Oh, they, Babylon is just, oh, sorry, Sumeria. Gilgabro, you know who I'm talking about. They are funding my war. They are keeping me gold positive. Great to see. Oh, the bar. Hobbs. It did do some pillaging of that Hansa, which is really annoying, but they have given me a settler doing that. So, you know, I hope that was worth it for you. Get that fixed in one turn, honestly. Everyone is in a dark age except me. I am in a golden age. Everyone is in a dark age. That is wonderful. Oh, yes. Okay. What do I do now? Exodus of Evangelists, if I want to spread crusade. Monumentality, if I want to keep putting settlers down. I think we're going to switch to monumentality now. Better builders, better settlers. We do have a lot of faith coming in per turn. Now we are going to start using the infrastructure that we are taking from war to build my lands. We're getting 20% production in all cities every time I take a city. That in itself is a good start, but we need more than that. We need more than that. Where's the water mill being produced? I swear I have one. Four turns on that? In this city, come on, two turns. Let's finish that. I'm gonna need stirrups before I can get gunpowder. So let's unlock knights, 50 strength knights. I always underestimate how powerful knights are and they are always magnificent to use. I stole a book from Greece and I can actually sell it to Cree for two of their luxuries, which I'm gonna do because that actually gets me so much happiness. I'll go take it back in a bit. I know where Korea are. I know where they're keeping their books. Look at this wagon train of military just making their way from the top to the bottom of my empire. Probably not the most efficient thing to do here, but it's good fun. Limitite, we don't need that anymore. Conscription is good. Agogi is okay, being honest, but it's not brilliant. Limes is always good. Let's put natural philosophy in to get a bit more science now. Scripture is good for the faith because we want monumentality. That'll work. I think that's everything we need. So as I capture cities, we're putting walls up at 
double speed now. I'm now hanzering pretty quick as well. We have two of them up at the moment. I plan to get at least six or seven more hanses up this era alone. We'll see if that works. The other thing I'm going to do is with that settler. Nope, no piece for you. We're going to focus on making sure we get luxuries we haven't got before. Uh, nothing important here on World Congress. I'm going to say that we want to ban writers because, you know, we don't have a huge amount of that stuff. I mean, I am stealing great writer points from Greece, but that's not important. And I want to trade with industrial city states because Brussels is right next to me. It does not matter what goes through here. That volcano has gone off about five times now. Nuts. Uh, double scientist points. Oh, that's bad. Babylon are going to enjoy that one, but we'll kind of just hope that goes away, I think. Greece is pumping in its out, but they're all catapults, which isn't very useful. Religious emergency, military emergency. We were always going to trigger more emergencies and Babylon might come back in at us at this point. No, Cree have gone in on us. Interesting. Not Curtain though. I always expect Curtain to jump in on these things, but no, it's fine. Doesn't matter. We're going to lose a little bit of trading income. We were trading luxuries with Crete. Have oh, they just stolen the book? <laughs> Since I did it, I knew it was a bad idea. Never mind. We have 500 gold. Now, I've been saving up for a little treat for myself. You'll notice that I have a battering ram and Greece has ancient walls. Now, I think Cree also has ancient walls mostly as well. There is a very narrow window in the game where you can take both a battering ram and a siege tower and use both of them against the city at the same time. What will happen is you'll attack the city walls and do full damage and you'll bypass the walls at the same time, which means you then do even more damage to the city. It's, it's really handy. So it's pretty, it's pretty cool. This man at arms wants to move across and into this territory, which it will do. Let's just move you to that. Moving my units forward and forward and forward and forward. The great general pulls forward as well. You can go like that. You can go like that. And you can go like that. Perfect. The great general is supporting these units still. And Militos is the next target. We do not want to let this momentum drop. We have a lot of units on reinforcement, but I cannot let my advantage diminish. The longer I wait, the more time Cree and Greece have to try and mount an effective defense against me. I don't like that. In the meantime, back in my capital, ages away from the front line, I'm just using all of these things, libraries, temples, yields. Yes, pillaged resources. This is what's happening. You fight down one end of your empire and then you get all the benefit down the other end. They decided to send hoplites at me. You can do that if you want, but I have a very decent defensive core here and I do not plan on letting that go. I'd rather their man at arms didn't attack me. That would be useful if they didn't, but I need to also get these walls down in this city, which they now are. Oh, perfect. That's looking much, much happier now. So I'm hoping we can take that city and push our advantage even more. The horsemen are almost at the front lines now. Ah, yes. Babylon. Just embrace the religion. Just embrace it. So they're deciding to attack Athens which is fine. They think they can take it. They can't. They, they will not be able to take it. We like them to think that for a little bit. Feudal contract. There we go. We can actually make mana arms a little quicker now, which is a really decent improvement. Campus adjacency is good. Serfdom is pretty good if I want to get builders out, which I'm kind of tempted to in a little bit, but settling is pretty important as well. Athens is going to have some walls up in a second, so I'm going to spend a little bit of money to upgrade a crossbow. Now, this is the one that was going to get attacked by these units. We've got a bit of defense now, but it means these city strikes are going to be way stronger. Catapults. Yep, you take out the units. Weird that you don't use a catapult to attack a city, but sometimes you just have to do it. One attack, two attacks. Do I three attack? You better believe I do. Look at that. Perfect. Uh, it says that it's not going to be very loyal. Luckily for me, I have two separate governors on the front line, making sure that this is all great. Don't let your friendship with Gilgamesh disappear. <laughs> that is always a good thing to keep. It's also worth checking every now and then to see if he wants to get involved in wars. Yes. Once we get an ally going with Gilgamesh, which actually we should be able to do in nine turns, we're going to get plus five combat strength from both the alliance and also a military alliance. So you get plus 10 combat strength against people. Gilgamesh is really good to have on side in wars. Really, really undervalued. You know, the more I think about this, I actually, yeah, I'm going to just switch away from getting settlers and we're going to pick on builders with monumentality, get the five charges going. Let's improve the land we've got. It's actually pretty good land. I've already in a position where I'm on 10 cities compared to eight 
two, five, eight, eight. So I've got more cities than anyone else. This early game conquest has worked really nicely for me on that front. Let's take advantage of that. Oh, more fires in this city. Pain. Absolute pain. I'm going to treat myself to... This feels really weird. It's a Stonehenge. I quite like the Apostle because then I can improve my religion to take advantage of the fact that I've got 16 cities following it, which I think could give me a lot of... Like, pilgrimage could give me a lot of faith. I could get everyone's favourite dentist teeth in in order to... <laughs> Oh, every time to get myself a bit of gold like that would be pretty good. My first catapult now is going to start attacking this encampment. It's pretty strong, admittedly, but it'll help my Sene. Okay, 55 strength. Greece is really tough here. I need to just sort of methodically do this a little bit more. I need more military. I need to get more military strength to the front line. So more gold, more production, more units. Let's make that happen. Scripture's fine. Natural philosophy is giving me some science, but I would like to get myself where it's build a card served him there we go now we can improve these cities on the front line to make sure that we have the absolute maximum coming from 95 for a builder that's really good let's fix everything that's been pillaged let's improve it to make sure that we have some amazing cities just continuing to trade with Gilgamesh I need as much gold as I can my industry back home is coming along nicely but gold is a little bit of a problem I would like to purchase a knight a 50 strength four movement point unit that can just run around the back and destroy things like arches and catapults very handy indeed however in the meantime Greece is continuing to move units backwards and forwards at a sort of slightly strange level but by doing that they keep separating themselves so I mean look at that we've got perfect opportunity just to destroy the man at arms lovely and finally a very special shout out goes to Glorious Petra, Matthew Wilkinson, Paul Coffey, Portland, Scott Stratton, Major King Kong, Davalek, Skeptical Bear, Alex Noob, Cinnamon Beard, Petra Ryan, Rom 88, Radiatore, Private Selection, Genoa Salami, Boyzoro, Callum Billy, Garrett Gowan, Polar Bear Ray, El Truant, Creston, RB Hedged, Mushkin Mandeltort, Ezri Dax, Debel Time, Shoelace, Burial, I'm Daft, Gooberman, Clint Hennis, Dr. Bobby, Polar Waller Bear, Mixamatosis, NTG Golfman, Victor McPupster, Indignia 68. Thank you everyone for your support. See you all in the next video. Goodbye!